Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here, coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, June 13th, 2022, using Be Still and Know by Broad Street Publishing. A reminder to remember, Zechariah 7, 9 through 10. It's a prophet in the Old Testament. This is what the Lord Almighty said. Administer true justice. Show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the foreigner or the poor. Do not plot evil against each other. The writer writes, in times when people couldn't rely on writing a list or setting a reminder on their phone, they would sometimes tie strings around their index finger to remind them that something should be remembered. The string was a symbol to remember. The scripture is full of reminders that we should show mercy and compassion to those who are really in need. God had to continue to remind his people to take care of the widow, fatherless, foreigner, and poor. You might have a lot to get done today, and you will always and you will have ways to remind yourself to do that. To do them. Will you find a symbol to remind you of the less fortunate? If you are feeling like you need a little help today, why don't you ask God to remind someone of your need? So, um, if you would like to remember um, to take care of the widow, the fatherless, the foreigner, and the poor, then set a reminder. Um, put it on your calendar. Put it on your phone calendar. Send yourself out an alert. And that could be as simple as drop off some food at a pantry for the poor. Take care of the fatherless. So, take care of kids at school that don't have parents. Or a single mom help her with a meal or watch her kid for free while she goes to the spa or get her a gift card and the widow or widower so any of our people that have lost loved ones how will you remember to help them today um, so we had a <clears throat> speaking of the poor or those that need a little extra help we um, we had a food curbside free food giveaway this Friday and Saturday, just this past weekend. And it was a hit. So we had a lot of people that didn't know that the pantry was there at 113 Blair Street, the Kingsley United Methodist Church, just about a block down the road from the middle school to the east. And um, so we served 199 people and there were 66 families that came and received free food. So we got uh, some of the food out. People knew who we were. We gave away lots of peanut butter and spaghetti sauce and pancake mix and all these different things. So, um, and there were people that just came and received it and some that were interested in um, when the pantry would be open, which is open Wednesdays and Fridays at 113 Blair Street from nine to noon or any time, call and set up an appointment. And you can meet us there at 263-5278 area code 231. So um, you can also check out kingsleymethodistchurch.com. So the food, curbside food giveaway was a huge success. We had a lot of volunteers, which was helpful because they started lining up right away at three o'clock. So we'll probably do that every year at the last uh, Friday that school is out so people can just grab some food because when school's out, kids have less to eat because they don't get free lunch and free breakfast like they normally do when they're in school. So um, a food pantry is, will be utilized. So check us out and come on down. But this is a reminder to remember. So you can remind yourself on your phone uh, to pray. You can do that. Got all these timers on here. See all these timers. Got all these timers you can set up. And that will remind you to pray. You can also um, set up... Uh, something in your calendar so you can set up your calendar that way calendar got some people i gotta see um and um you can um, do that to pray do that to read your bible you can do that to um, set something up in your calendar in your phone to um, go and visit someone who's a single mom maybe stop by and introduce yourself um, there's lots of ways that we can remember to do things. So back in the Old Testament, they would tie something around their index finger, like a ribbon, so that would remind them that they had something to do because they didn't have paper and pencil to write on, and they didn't have phones with alerts and calendars and all these things. So we really have very little excuse to remember to do something. So when's the last time you set a timer to pray? 
you know, maybe set one at lunchtime. You're going to lunch, and so you need to run an errand, pray in the car. Um, remember God. He's with us, and he wants to spend time with you because he loves you. So that's a good reminder for us all. And then help those that need help. Set a reminder that you're going to contact a church nearby you and uh, figure out how you can support maybe their VBS. We have a VBS coming up in June, the 20th through the 25th. Um, and we always need donations. Um, if you're close to a church that has a VBS, I bet you they need food donations. Um, they might need staff, volunteers. They might need people to help set up with decorations. So there's all kinds of things to do. And um, some of them offer free lunch throughout the year. Some churches do. Some schools do. If you're um, close to a school and you can go there on your lunch break and help serve some kiddos, some free lunches. Whatever you can do to remind yourself to be cat compassionate to show mercy and compassion to one another as the prophet Zechariah reminds us. So how will you do that today? I guess that's a challenge. So let's pray and ask God to help us to do that. Dear Lord, thank you for reminding us that there are people in this world that are less fortunate than we are. Show us ways that we can show compassion to these people. Help us to set reminders on our phones, on our calendars, whatever way. Help us to get in touch with those that serve the poor and the hungry and the fatherless. Whether it's a summer day camp or whatever, I'm sure if we stop by, they will tell us what they need. And we can do that. So thank you for reminding us of your word today and from the prophet um, Zechariah. And help us to show mercy and compassion so that we can be ready to love others as you love us. Amen. All right. Have a good day. And I will start a new book as soon as it comes in the shipment. But until then, we're plugging along with this Broad Street Publishing. Be still and know. It's not very meaty. It's not very theological. But, you know, we're doing it. It doesn't always have to be so heavy. So enjoy your day. Bye-bye.